we can start our online uh, conference the, the session. Uh, and uh, um, I would kindly ask you to use the button of interpreter. So we have the translation from Georgia to English and from English to uh, Georgia. Uh, so I will start my uh, introduction uh, in Georgia. So, um, and I hope we'll have the fruitful meeting today. Uh, Bi Megi biri kit minda kome hit khrat kwe. Ro merom kartola tada ubade budi kavif. Visurvebi Ukraine lobas ore dam drevshi. Tali an didi madlo ba trans partni ore dam kharda khardam cherebs. Kiev's universitets. I'm training radila zart akla redisonshi. Asebe vali suknis mamus tali an didi madlo ba. Tali and Didi Madlo by journalist of the Samokala Glaki, with the Strongly with Chris Akari and Daisa Ubreben, in Solidaro Bazeda, in activism, the Roman Lids, I'm to be dismantled the Trampolas Mismareva, in stresses that Revashi, Da I'm Peradi, in Sinatris Dana Fashi, Romelitz, Auxilabriaris, I am Crisis Bistros. Twenty organizations, medis da komunikacij, sagan mana trebalo da kolevite centri saheli, mida madloba gada upado eurokausirs romlis finansurim farda cheri da eurokausirs zamu saule partneru bi samu kala ko sazoga do bi zgadlier bi programis parglepsi. Twenty davit da dan khorti eleba projektis history keepers vardo vi story, historis mtsvelebi. Da mati stipendiati gaukti da chuen gadal chuen etrom store du Ukrainis harda sajeri aktivo bebi kagwe khoti elenda. Eswelo shi bimizda di sakhab Ukrainis histori shi sakhab tsno bere bi sakhab magle bazda dezinformatsi shem tsile baz. Kadgal dezinformatsia bolaze metat musha obsim temebze romlebze chuen dalian sotaram vitsipta Ukrainis histori a mushtaro maris store deseti. As a Mizna di Sakas, Ukraine said the Sakatoloshi of Uri, Mukalake, Bichartulovit, I'm Fardam Jerigaremos Shekunas, Rusu Desinformatia Stamzulas, Soldarobi journalistics, Stimuli Rebas. Ta resp irrela trend windaro dava jildovot, is Adamianebi, Ukraine said the Sakatoloshi, Romlebit, or a Debzuan Desinformatias, all of the Murat. Ebzuyan in propaganda, Romelitz, Dalian Mamnebeliadis, da isini itzamen, Hanamedrobe, Ukrainis, historias, Piruel Rixi, Amiti itzamen at Konda, trans Momavals, da, Harda Jeras Gamohadave, Ukraine Levis, Mimarta, trans Guadli Erebe, Minda Misa Zamebeli, Sitwa Gadalze, Mariam Kuro Shrills. Amos are a partner with some Kalko Sazuka, the Gadler, his program is regional coordinate or Sigi, Uratorobas, Uzevs, Utsam de Proects, the Machoris Ramdes Mekanash, the Machoris Ukraine Sada, Sakatolo, she Maria, Matlopa Maria, Matlopa Maria, the one that is the Bistris, Matlopa, well, as we can't get the Badabalas. As a bit too, Miss Parker, she acquires a bit. I'm not so good at the Champ Salian Didi, but you are this is from Aram Polot, Piradi, social good media, social liberties, Parker, she are with Professor Ladas, Ramome Hatach, and Harda Jera, Ukraine, and Ukraine, and Hatta, Amjamat, ex project, Wutha Gura Toroba, Sam Sakatoloshida, Sam Sukraina Sheikh, Italian Mahareps is from Ethiopia, the Soldar of Journalistic Project, Romel Sat Sam Jamato for Celeb, Sam Rok and Dogger Stoughton of the Harris and Chems, Pira the Italian Athos, Aris Ukraina Chemtan, Da Pira the Sirce Pitsak Mount, Akira, 
it, it's for the first time that uh, uh, syllabus, educational syllabus and training module on solidarity journalism has been created. And Elena is Elena is uh, the co-author of this educational syllabus. So thank you very much, and please. Th thank you, Madam. Thank you uh, to all. Uh, hello to everybody. Uh, honestly speaking, I don't understand your language, but the number of uh, how many times you uh, repeated Ukraine and Ukrainian, for me, it means that uh, all uh, all the people uh, really support Ukraine and uh, my deep great, uh, gratitude, gratitude to, uh, all, uh, to all of you. And uh, uh, I would like to say thank you to all uh, Georgians because um, for me, it was very important when uh, we came to uh, Gdif a couple months ago, we saw uh, the great support uh, on the street, on the building. I mean, uh, a lot of flags on the street, uh, flags on the building. Um, uh, for example, when I uh, came to bank, even this uh, small ticket of, of the queue with the uh, words uh, Slava Ukraini. Uh, so, um, and I, underst I have understood that uh, Georgian, as uh, Ukrainians, we are uh, in the same boat, so uh, we will uh, win together because we share the same values, uh, we share the, I mean, the same European values. And um, when uh, at the beginning of uh, today's event, uh, we had uh, some uh, performance. And um, on this uh, screen, I saw uh, pictures uh, of Ukraine, I saw pictures of Kiev, and uh, maybe you mentioned or, or you heard a couple seconds, uh, it was a ER Syria. And uh, all my colleagues uh, that are now are in Kiev or in Ukraine, uh, all my colleagues who uh, uh, heard this uh, signal, I'm sure that we will, we will not uh, forget this signal because it's very uh, traumatic. And uh, uh, when I saw uh, pictures uh, of Ukraine, uh, my favorite country, my motherland, um, I can assure you that Ukraine is, uh, Ukraine is uh, a very good country. Ukraine is a very friendly country. Ukrainians are very friendly people. And uh, I believe that uh, we will continue this project and uh, next our meeting, we will uh, yeah, organize yeah, it. Yeah, so I kindly invite you to visit Kyiv and to, to see how beautiful is the city even after work. Thank you. Uh, we all know what does it mean because we went through this uh, words, uh, several several times. Uh, and um, yeah, here we have at our discussion the activists. Uh, I, I saw Georgi Pshaniaradze also, who from the very beginning they started the stickers and the solidarity event, everything they ha have done till, till today. They uh, create the strategy of memory about Ukraine and about history, how to remember this, these days actually. So uh, I want to give, give uh, for welcome speeches to, uh, to our special guest, uh, Anatoly Yakovets. Uh, Anatoly is Associated Professor at the uh, Taras Shevchenko University. Uh, uh, I, I will switch in Georgia because uh, Anatoly, uh, um, uh, you will hear it in, uh, or, or you, you can hear, hear it in English, so, so that's fine. So, uh, why um, why Anatoly? Uh, because he's a great uh, friend of Georgia and uh, of us. And uh, when I sent the mail to him on February 22, uh, and I was really, really very uh, uh, afraid of what was going on in uh, uh, Kiev, he wrote me back the words that gave me hope that we will win, Mariam. We will win because the light is on our side. And that gave me the inspiration to light, to write the blog about Kiev and about Ukrainians, because I, at the same time, and at this moment, this was the moment when I understood that you will win, Anatoly. So uh, I want to give you the floor. 
Uh, and uh, please welcome Anatoly Yakovic. And thank uh, you very much. Translate from Ukrainian. Uh, he's uh, opening with the remarks. Thank you very much, Mariam. Good evening, Georgian colleagues. Motsam bet kartvelo mego brebo. Serdecno vitaju uchasniki v webinaru. I want to congratulate the participants of the webinar. Nezvažajuči na te, što v Ukrajini ide vina, ale nam vdalosi zaprositi do učesti považnih predstavnikiv ukrajinskoj medije spilnoti. Despite the disasters in war in Ukraine, we managed to invite suspected representatives of the Ukrainian media community to participate. Robota journalista pe čas vini je vazhlevo ju i vazhko preoceniti, bo tilke journaliste možuj nadati rozgolosu tim če inšim faktam vojenih zločini ta humanitarnih katastrof, prevrtajuči uvahu međunarodnoj spilnoti. Слово сьогодні є зброєю на інформаційному фронті із Росією. Журналісти – це очі і вуха демократичних суспільств. The word is today is a weapon. Uh, on the informational front uh, with Russia. Journalists are the eyes and ears of democratic societies. Отож, я сподіваюся, що сьогоднішня Україно-Грузинська зустріч буде плідною і цікавою для нас. Well, I hope that today's Ukrainian-Georgian meeting will be fruitful and interesting for us. І як писав Тарас Шевченко у поемі «Кавказ», Боритися, поборити, вам Бог помагає. And as Taras Shevchenko wrote in his poem Caucasus, fight, you will win. God helps me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Maybe a couple words, uh, yes. just a couple words uh, to add that it's very symbolic that Ukrainian uh, speech, Ukrainian voice uh, is uh, uh, on, on the floor because uh, uh, our in event uh, is uh, Georgian Ukrainians. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for the brilliant Ukrainian. Not only Ukrainian, but brilliant Ukrainian. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yes, that's true. We all know it. Uh, so, uh, Roman uh, Rignoy, uh, we already congratulated him, uh, actually, his birthday. Uh, just one hour before uh, and congratulate again we we actually wanted to uh you to sit here with us but uh, uh yes you are uh now uh, also uh not not in georgia so uh roman uh please uh the floor is yours for a welcome speech uh dobry večer gamar joba uh, thank you so much for your words and good evening, dear ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm so happy to glad you all uh, at this online discussion focused on solidarity with my country, with Ukraine. My name is uh, Roman Drivny and I'm the Ukrainian TV and radio host in the past and right now the event presenter. Today I had to be closer to all the organizers and sitting over there with you, but uh, I think a lot of people know about the incident that was happened with me when I was coming to Georgia because on the 70th of September I was not allowed it to be entered to the Georgia with any reason and with no explanation. Uh, I don't want to talk a lot about uh, this insider but I think that all Georgian people know about that fact that I wasn't allowed to enter. Uh, that's why I want to say that and remind you that such a huge necessity all of you brings to the world. Such a huge necessity every journalist, every media and communication person needs nowadays. And um, I want to say thank you for this, of course. And um, that's why uh, I think a lot of people in Ukraine stand and all the world stands with Ukraine because of media, because all the world know that Ukrainians are the bravest people nowadays, that Ukrainians fight for their freedom and 
they didn't want to be saved. They live on the country and that's all thanks to the media communication and so on. That's why I think uh, that uh, this discussion is very necessary and important to Ukraine and not only to Ukraine and to Georgia nowadays also. Uh, so glory to Ukraine, Slava Ukraini. Uh, and uh, also I would like to tell you about the exhibition that was before, because on the 24th of February I was at my home. I live uh, close to Bucha. Uh, it's near to Kiev, I think everybody saw the pictures uh, from that places. Uh, I wake up when the Russian bombs start falling on our buildings and on our homes. I didn't left my city. I stayed there for all the time. I started to volunteer and do the best that I can. Of course, I start to talk on my social media and so on that Russia started this war and we don't want it to be saved. Uh, but Somehow I understood that volunteering and talking is not enough and I decided to create a project that is called Kiev Sporty. As for me, uh, when I'm in stress, I know that sports help me. And I think that maybe uh, this will help to some Ukrainians or refugees who are not in their Ukraine. There's millions of people not in Ukraine. So I decided to shoot the trainings uh, in the morning on the sunrises, on the beautiful viewpoints uh, that people could uh, take the stress off and of course make their body uh, better and better. I all the time telling them that be brave as Ukraine, be strong and we will win, don't give up. That's why uh, this project starts, of course, a lot of money from these projects we gave to the Ukrainian army uh, to help them. And when I was shooting this uh, project in the early morning in Kyiv, uh, when the curfew ends, uh, I started to make pictures of uh, the beautiful city, of the beautiful uh, viewpoints of my favorite and lovely Kyiv. Uh, and uh, I'm so grateful that Georgia was interested in this, that I saw uh, war in Kyiv in another case, in another view and so on. So thank you so much. Thank you for your, this support. Uh, and of course, I want to say that, uh, thank you for joining this event and thank to all the organizers. Thank you, Mariam. Thank you all who are sitting there. Vitaly uh, Ukraini. Um, I want to say uh, <clears throat> to my colleague who is now in Belize. So people, don't give up. Stand with Ukraine and be brave as Ukraine. Very much. Thank you very much, uh, Romat. Uh, and uh, now we will begin our uh, discussion uh, panel. We have two moderators. Uh, I will be one of the moderators. It's my pleasure to moderate. And uh, Olena Shevchenko also. And uh, Olena will present uh, the first speaker, very distinguished speaker of our discussion panel titled Solidarity in Disinformation Era. Thank you, uh, thank you, Mariko. Uh, so now we uh, invite uh, Sergita Milinda, uh, he's uh, the head of the National Union of Journalists of Ukraine, and he's also the member of the European Federation of uh, Journalists. Sergei, your floor. Mm -hmm. Slava Ukraini, Slava Gruzi. Good evening, uh, dear friends. And my name is uh, Sergei Temilenko, and I'm the president of the National Union of Journalists of Ukraine. Our union is the biggest uh, journalist community or association in Ukraine, and we try to support, to protect our colleague. And uh, thank you for the opportunity to participate in today's important event. And uh, I want to inform you about some aspects of uh, about uh, physical safety of journalists in Ukraine and about uh, practical implementation of journalistic solidarity initiatives in Ukraine. But uh, I want to use a presentation. Can you uh, allow me to use uh, presentation in Zoom because now I see that I can't use screen. 
Now you can? Yes. Oh, yes. Um, okay. Uh, uh, dear colleague, uh, we say that the war has crossed out the peaceful future of journalists and the media in Ukraine. But uh, we are talking about direct human losses, the murders caused by Russia. As you see, uh, I used the poster about uh, killed journalists and media workers uh, since February of 22. And the last victim uh, among media workers is or was uh, our colleague, Alexei Yurchenko. He was a soldier of Ukrainian army. But before this war, he was a prominent cameraman for national TV channels. And uh, according to our data, data of National Union of Journalists of Ukraine and the Office of General Prosecutor and uh, other official sources, uh, 39 media workers uh, and journalists have died since February 1922. And among them, uh, are journalists of the Ukrainian and international media who performed journalistic activity. Among them, uh, our colleagues, uh, media workers who are civilian victims, and among victims are media workers who went to the army to defend Ukraine with weapons in their hands. Of course, Journalists shouldn't combine the profession with the military affairs, but, uh, but the journalistic communi community must honor the memory of every dead media worker. And after all, the cause of death is one. This is the Russian war. And uh, for Russians, journalists are an obvious target. The largest number of short media workers was in the suburbs of Kyiv near Bucha and Irpin. The occupiers understand that journalists are recording the atrocities caused by Russians. So they are attacking media workers independent from them. They attacking media uh, houses or on temporary occupied territories. And we see that uh, at Kherson region, the Parisia region, Donbass region, in all the temporary occupied Ukrainian territories, after tanks and bayonets, a campaign of pressure on journalists and clearing of the informational space is immediately launched. The occupiers, are either offering journalists to become all local propagandists or demanding silence from them. And an uh, outrageous example of pressure was the case in Militopol, the Parisian region, uh, where after searching of the apartment, the Russians took hostage the 75-year-old father of the editor chief of the local uh, online media, Ria Militopol, Svetlana Zalizetska. An elderly man was thrown into the basement, and Russians called his daughter Svetlana and offered to exchange a father for a daughter. This is real fascism. And uh, our union, we try to support Svetlana, we try to protect her, and uh, we are in contact with her. Now her father uh, is free, but he is free at occupied Militopa. And when we uh, see, when we discuss about safety, uh, physical safety of journalists who are working in Ukraine, 
the, uh, the first thing, the priority is physical safety equipment and first aid kits. Our union, we try to collect uh, bulletproof vests, bulletproof helmets, and we try to organize some landing spots and uh, we try to protect as uh, journalists from national and local media and uh, as foreign journalists too. And um, there are some restrictions for journalists who try to cover war in Ukraine. And our union, we try to uh, support our colleagues with uh, receiving uh, accred official accreditation. But um, we uh, think that uh, we can't compare such restrictions with censorship because our official, um, the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, uh, try to restrict only information which uh, not connected with some political issues, but only with number of uh, weapons, number of soldiers, or some important information which Russian can use in this war. And uh, the second topic of, uh, of my presentation is mechanism of assistance to journalists in Ukraine. Today uh, we are discussing uh, about solidarity, but we, um, National Union of Journalists of Ukraine, we uh, created uh, our own uh, small network of journalist solidarity centers in Ukraine. It was a reaction on first uh, days uh, of, uh, of shocking news and uh, uh, first uh, weeks uh, for all staff of our union was weeks of uh, hotline. So we created uh, as first stage uh, a small network from uh, in three um, cities in Western Ukraine, Lviv, Ivano-Frankivsk, Chernivtsi. And now we uh, launched uh, three new uh, centers in Kyiv, Dnipro, and Zaporizhia. And Zaporizhia now is the main frontline center. Each center is a um, small uh, office uh, with some technical equipment, laptops, uh, and uh, one or two personal staff and our colleagues try to react on every request from journalists in need. And uh, any journalist who needs help uh, can, uh, can react, uh, can contact with us through online form and uh, our team try to support um in every request so we um our areas of activity as some financial support for uh, journalists uh, who evacuated from dangerous places uh, to give some humanitarian aid, psychological safety, legal aid, uh, some information and consultant support. We organize different trainings and uh, events for journalists uh, who suffer from war. And uh, so I, I want to present some results of our networks. We organized uh, more than 40 different trainings and events, trainings devoted to physical safety, psychological safety, um, how to evacuate from a dangerous place, uh, uh, how to walk a dangerous place at the front line. We collected more than 200 bulletproof vests and uh, uh, we landed uh, through our networks uh, and uh, um, we <clears throat> organized special um, specialized hotline as physical as as uh, psychological hotline physical safety hotline and uh, hotline for 
uh, a, a special project as, as a special activity how to evacuate from temporarily occupied territories too and uh, you see this picture from our centers in the Parisia, Pro, Lviv. Uh, it's as mini hub, but hub uh, and our staff should support our colleagues in need. But uh, as we see, there are hundreds and hundreds of journalists and media workers in Ukraine uh, try to to, to survive as citizens, but uh, all of them try to survive as journalists and media workers and our duty to, to support our colleagues. Okay, many colleagues, many thanks for invitation and for, for your activities uh, and for this joint uh, Georgian and Ukrainian project. Thank you, uh, thank you, Sergei. Uh, uh, my, my, I think we need to talk about questions. Maybe we could be better by the end. By the end. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, first, we will have the speakers, and we will have the discussion uh, and the Q and A uh, at the end of uh, our session. Um, I will switch now in Georgia. Um, so, Minda, how many people did you know? How many people have journalists? Italian TV cameras still a bit. Um, uh, uh, the is training project of this media expert. Uh, in three days, the Rodessat Tides of Ukraine is only, uh, Heona, uh, over three regimes. You don't say an regime. She, um, agrovepta informatias, Ukraine is a safe, a much mebda, da, Munida Kartu, a nova contents. A uh, special rat cartwheel business from at me about Kadam Mutrebuli. Informatia rats in moment is Pistalia Mishnovani, Masakla, Tavisi Telegram, Artia, the Medica Mutzerit, Da Netrend, Hemde, watch this informatias, um, uh, Imishesah to Rafteba, Ukraine, she, the Italian Mishnovani, Aris, Ratmanda, and Twist. Da <laughs> Russo, Russo, no Rian Makanas. I said, I drank a damoki de blood, Miva, that gave a very Sukrainis hymns. I said, the San Rasigonems Creatilla, San Ras, Mistress, Rome, Atrenos, Tavisi, Tansko, Bartamo, Bareva, Arsa, the Sukrainis, Drosas, like Kira, and Trenes, a top motivator. Tama de Pitido. Maybe the Kelna Scadals, um, the Sitwa, Rom, da, I toga that had it horror, Tatomaris, I Nishnelovan, Katamuns Mabuli, Informatia Romi, Vigot, or Miss Dros, that is Asi was Cartulenaze, Cartul, Enovan Mosakleo, Business Romelitz, a lot of it full of Smakrams Nelia, my scarches. Sometimes <laughs> Akakatebashi, <laughs> A Sajiro Iro, Rom, a Kartuli, content the Shek Nili Oda, is popular Gadamus Mebuli, as a Mishnolovania, Rusuli propaganda, Romer Sakatoshi, Acturia, Samsu Harot, the Esar, the Badres, the Ukraine, Shomis, that's Savina, Aramis, 
ბევრად დიდი ისტორია აქვს ამას და განსაკუთრებით ახლა ამოქმედდა ეს იმიტომ რომ თანხას რომელსაც საქართველოსში რუსები უხდიდნენ სწორედ ასე ვთქვათ ახლა უნდა ამოიღოთ და ძალიან გააქტიურდა რუსული პროპაგანდა და ამას ჩვენ უნდა დაუპირისპიროთ ზუსტად სიმართლე და ნამდვილი ინფორმაცია და რა თქმა უნდა კიდევ ერთი მიზანი ამისი რასაც მე ვაკეთებ არის რომ საზოგადოება იყოს ინფორმირებული რომ საქართველოს ხელისუფლებაზე მოახდინოს ზეწოლა თქვენ ალბათ ვადევნებ ხალხს და სამწუხაროდ ქართველი ხალხის ნებას და პოზიციას ჩვენი ხელისუფლება უკრაინასთან მიმართებაში არ გამოხატავს და სწორედ ჩვენი მიზანია რომ თქვენ იცოდეთ რომ ჩვენ ვართ თქვენს გვერდი და ის თუ რას ამბობენ ადამიანები რომლებიც დროებით არიან ჩვენს ხელისუფლებაში საერთოდ არაფერი არ ნიშნავს და საჭირო არის რომ საზოგადოების ხიდან იყოს წნეხი სწორედ სწორი ინფორმაციის მაცვის მიწოდება იწვევს იმას რაც ხდებოდა თებერვლიდან მოყოლებული საქართველოში თბილისში რუსთაველის გამზირზე ათასობით ადამიანი ვიკრიბობდი ყოველდღიურად ჩვენი მხარდაჭერის გამოსახატავად და დღეს მგონია რომ მარტო მეცხადი ამას არ ვაკეთებ და ძალიან ბევრი ჩემი კოლეგა ამას აკეთებს ძალიან მნიშვნელოვანია რომ სწორი გადამოწმებული ზუსტი ინფორმაცია ცოდნენ ჩვენ მამოქალაქებმა მათ ეს კონდეთ ყოველ წამიერად და ქართულ ენაზე დაახლოებით წარმოდგენა რომ შეგექმნათ 24 საათის განმავლობაში ვამუშავ ნახულობ 4 4 და 5000 ნიუსამდე მაქვს გამოწერილი 425 ტელეგრამ არხი რუსული უკრაინული დღეს დაღესტანი დავიმატე და ამ ინფორმაციის გაფილტრი შემდეგ ვთქვათ ჩემს ტელეგრამ არხზე და ფეისბუკ მომხმარებლებს ვაცვთი ინფორმაციას უკვე რაც არის მათთვის მნიშვნელოვანი და რასაც ვთქვი რომ ნამდვილად უნდა იცოდეთ ძალიან დიდი მადლობა გარდა ამისა თქვენ მაგისტრის ხარისხით ამ მიმართულებით დაიცავით და მე დიდი სიამოვნებით მომავალში ვიფიქრებთ და ერთი სესია ალბათ ამასაც უნდა მიუწყნათ აი ამ ზუსტად დეზინფორმაციის და უკრაინის გამოწვევებს და საქართველოს გამოწვევებს ამ კუთხით um uh, minda uh, now we will switch in english again uh, so uh, 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 making some remarks for the translator uh, also interpreter uh, for uh, and uh, please uh, present the next uh, speaker uh, olena thank you, thank you mariko uh, let me uh, present tatiana matusha uh, she is uh, alumni of uh, matima uh, journalism uh, school Uh, she is a famous Ukrainian uh, media uh, expert and um, I know that uh, Tatiana has experience uh, in Twitter news uh, agency and uh, also I knew about Tatiana that uh, she is the author of a special course uh, for uh, a course on a media literacy for a uh, school and uh, Tatiana is known in Ukraine as uh, an expert Uh, in a counteracting to uh, disinformation and uh, propaganda. And uh, I know that uh, in July, you had an expedition uh, in Kyiv uh, about the war in uh, Donbass. And uh, we will be very glad if you share uh, with us uh, your experience. Uh, so, Tatiana, the floor is yours. Thank you so much, uh, dear Georgian colleagues, dear Ukrainian colleagues. Uh, very glad to see you all. Thank you so much for your great support. Uh, I, our Georgian colleagues really do a lot for Ukraine, for Ukrainian journalists. And uh, it's a great pleasure for me uh, to be now at this conference and uh, uh, to talk to you. Uh, I, I will show you a short uh, presentation about uh, disinformation and media literacy in Ukraine. Uh, and um, uh, in this presentation, I would like to mention several important uh, uh, facts uh, uh, which we face now in Ukraine. For example, uh, Russia's four false narratives to start the war against Ukraine um haven't changed since uh, the beginning of this war in february uh, 
they say that Ukraine uh, was divided and now is divided by the language issue. And the reality is that um, uh, Ukrainians are united uh, by an indifference uh, uh, to language choice. And um, bilingual conversations are commonplace in Ukraine and uh, uh, nobody needs to defend Russian language in Ukraine. Uh, the other false uh, narratives are that Ukraine has had, had plans to retake the Donbass occupied by Russia uh, by military force. And now they say that Ukraine uh, has plans, and of course it has these plans, to retake the others uh, occupied uh, territories. Um, and uh, uh, But... Uh, at, uh, at the beginning of this year, Ukraine uh, didn't have such plans and nobody was going to retake the Donbass by military force. Uh, then uh, there is one more false narrative that uh, uh, Russia was under threat and that is why uh, they needed to, to protect themselves. Uh, in fact, President Putin uh, likes to portray himself, himself equally as a main man of uh, great strength and as a victim. And he runs one of the most sophisticated propaganda campaign. Uh, and um, uh, these, these two uh, notions can coexist and can be accepted by, by Russians, unfortunately. Uh, and uh, the last main false narrative is that uh, Ukraine was populated by Nazi sympathizers and fascists. And of course, it's not true. Uh, and uh, uh, there is uh, one main reason for it uh, to, to be used, uh, for this narrative to be used. That reason is because it is easier to kill another person after uh, they have they have been dehumanized and so wars require soldiers to kill the enemy and an act made much easier if the enemy is a fascist or a nazi preparing to commit atrocities uh, there were a lot of attacks, informational attacks against Ukraine, but uh, the most important was that uh, uh, people in Bucha, Kharkiv, Mariupol were shot by Ukrainian artillery. So uh, Russians accuse uh, Ukrainians in doing all the things that Russian army uh, does. Uh, then uh, they say that Satanists from the United States are fighting on the sides of Ukraine. Uh, Russia is a, a Christian, Christian country, and that is why they, they say that uh, Ukraine uh, uses Satanists uh, to, to fight the Christians. Uh, another fake was that birds and mosquitoes are ethnically oriented biological weapons against Russians. Uh, that is absolutely absurd. I, I won't comment it. And uh, they, they said many times that pre the President Zelensky fled from Ukraine so that to disorient uh, uh, Ukrainians. And for internal Russian audience at the same time, uh, they say that Russia is united more than ever. Most people support Putin. Most people support the war. The West is bad, got into other people's internal affairs. Um, I mean, Russians do, do not think that people from the ex-USSR are independent. And uh, the West uh, should be punished for this. And uh, they say everything is for the front, uh, everything is for the victory, everything for the, should be for the Russian army. Any means and methods are good. Uh, at the same time, in the media space of Ukraine, uh, we have the situation when uh, on our TV channels uh, we watch uh, the United Teleton, uh, we watch daily messages of the commander-in-chief, and uh, we have the situation in which uh, uh, our pro-Russian media disappeared because uh, everybody understood that uh, it's... Uh, 
it, it wasn't possible to, to work uh, in Ukraine and be pro-Russian during the war. Unfortunately, the advertising market is frozen and uh, media um, receive money from the crowdfunding or from the owners of uh, this media. Uh, we have constant DDoS attacks on large websites. And unfortunately, we have lack, we, we are lack of news about the economy, society, culture, we are lack of analytics and investigations, because we have to talk about the war all the time. Uh, I would like to mention three large media literacy initiatives. Uh, that is filter. Uh, filter is the national media literacy project. Uh, of the Ministry of Culture and Informational Policy of Ukraine uh, that, would, that was established last year. The project is online platform and this online platform aims to bring together the best solutions and materials implemented by state authorities, public initiatives, international partners and media community. Uh, the other is Center for Strategic Communication. Uh, this center was established this year under the Ministry of Culture and Informational Policy of Ukraine. And the center is focused on communication that is aiming to counter external threats, in particular, informational attacks of the Russian Federation. And uh, the last but not least, uh, the project of the IREX, uh, uh, the Learn to Discern in Education program. Uh, this program works with the Ukrainian Ministry of Education and Science to integrate critical information consumption skills into existing secondary school curricula and teacher training programs at the uh, Ukrainian universities uh, and uh, the professors of the Ukrainian universities. I would like to uh, mention the three large project uh, uh, which debunk fakes, that is stopfake.org, uh, ukraineworld.org project, and Explain in Ukraine podcast. Uh, all of them uh, are in English, and um, you can easily uh, read and watch um, these websites. And if you want to read more, uh, I advise two articles in English, um, uh, which tell you more about Kremlin's anti-sanctions uh, narratives and uh, the a true reach of propaganda that makes Russians love war. Uh, uh, and uh, on the last uh, slide, you see my contacts and please don't hesitate to contact me uh, to know more. Uh, and uh, maybe to get this presentation, I will be glad to send to it to you and to answer all of your questions. Thank you so much for inviting and thank you so much for your support. Thank you, Tatiana. Uh, I just want to uh, confirm your words uh, uh, from your presentation. For example, um, it's a very uh, strict narrative uh, and very long-time narrative of uh, Russia against Ukraine about uh, division of Ukrainians on good Ukrainians and bad Ukrainians, I mean uh, language issues. And uh, I totally confirm uh, that after the beginning of the uh, full-scale war, Ukrainians are united, and, and even those Ukrainians who before were, uh, were uh, Russian-speaking, they shifted, and now they like Ukrainian language. But at the same time, on the front line, our soldiers speak both Ukrainian and Russian, and they are, all of them are patriots of Ukraine, and they are fighting, and they are defending uh, our country, and nevertheless, uh, which uh, language they are uh, they speak, and um, uh, I think that uh, this uh, very sad uh, situation, very uh, vulnerable and painful for all, all our society situation, united uh, our uh, nation, and um, now we are fighting, and uh, I'm sure that we will win together. 
Thank you very much. I will add that in framework for the projects of History Keepers, we had the podcast about history of Ukraine and the information, and we had the dilemma which language language to use. Uh, English, not all Georgians understand it. Okay, with some subtitles, Ukrainian, Russian. So this was dilemma. Then we decided that to understand the Russian narrative and the propaganda, it's important to tell these cases in Russian. And that so so it was debatable, really debatable. And uh, uh, so uh, also would like in the discussion to to hear your your voice uh, in in this regard because yes, language matters and. We know from history keepers also that uh, uh, in the previous century, uh, most of the Ukrainians, they didn't speak Russian at all. So this Russification uh, is uh, new for the, for in this regard. And uh, this is another false history uh, narrative from Russia that, uh, yeah, about the language. So thank you very much and it is, my pleasure. So I will switch in Georgia now. Okay. Dalian Didi Pativia Isro, Tresa Klaus, Alex, Uka, Petriash, Yesevitwe, Romelitz, Daflaut, Mulevari, Georgian Foundation for Strategic and International Studies, Tom Davis, Tom Shi, Trenese Vezahit. Da is Utweba, Arat Media Organizations and Hanam Shomlops, Utweba, Blogs, Gadda, Smutmiva, Daris Proceshi, Mutus Art Informatis, Mitmit Odebis Proceshi. Magram Rodesat Chen Asako Cheva to Kalian Buka in good hit from Witari Rakheba, with Hatram Chirdeba Analysi. Chirdeba in Gageba, Soret Saita Shoriso, Utir Tobebis good hit, Olympics good hit, Medis good hit, San Pedro Analytics good hit, Rahteba, Gachinda, Social Luxelepshi, Romel Italian Popularuliari Sakatoloshi, Katu Enovani, Buka Daily News. Romel is a Serogos early bird. Arvici Pilishvica, the Dishwa, Pala the Adre, Pala Televizia the Adre, Trend, Watudis, Informatia, Simisha Saheb to Rahteba Ukraina. She owned Esrato Maris, Ido Dalian Mishnelovani. Marto in his gamo are a right erebai. On his gamo, tone of voice from Melitam Postepsaps. Iron Rich Esaris Trenebi. Ukraine <laughs> Martla Dalian to the Drebi, or I televisor is chart from a pirata armindo, Daro Argamego is informatia. Da Andreb Shitki, book a daily news, rock it full of the I deep pick up the Rasmus, the Sefa Buka, he said, Rogam, Sainu, Rasit with his set rock, it is Shemarteva, Trenos, da, all of Damas. I'm Thomas Dalian Dalian Michelo and Info. I'm Dom Chemi and that's what it was the Signebaro. I'm Solidar of his Shannon Lobashi, Sakartuelo, she, Tim Auditoria, she write Bamo Bilizebro. I would me what we thought I'm Solidar of his, um, I'm so called Emotia, she, uh, Daya Bugade, Radomaps, I'm Radomaps, and Shnelovani, I move his radio chiro, I'm as a bit. Thank you, Marta, for Mariam. Thank you very much, Mariam. Uh, it's a great pleasure, great honor to be here to join you. First, let me start with uh, congratulating Roman with his birthday. Happy birthday, Roman! Uh, I want to uh, I want to apologize. Uh, it's a shame for Georgia. We have such a such a government uh, right now. Not for long. I hope that uh, our friends cannot. Uh, enter my country and the columns of the uh, uh, Russian 
mobilization, uh, the, the escapers are uh, rushing into Georgia like it was in 2008. I want to join in thanking uh, Anam Sidonia in organizing this uh, and for all her efforts uh, to do this wonderful event uh, in uh, uh, very close and some cooperation with Mariam and her organization. Now about uh, uh, how it was created, uh, when, where it came, come from. Uh, uh, my uh, uh, morning uh, daily daily news about uh, Ukraine. Uh, it, in fact, uh, it was uh, based on the uh, propaganda, based on propaganda which was uh, infiltrated in uh, Georgian. Uh, so uh, governmental media, some experts, some uh, talking heads who were um, attempting to convince Georgian uh, society that uh, uh, in three days, uh, Ukraine, uh, Kiev uh, will fall into the hands of uh, the Russian occupiers and uh, it will be, uh, the war is almost ended and et cetera, et cetera. So um, I started watching closely the news uh, in uh, in social media, on Telegram channels, in uh, Twitter, of course, and uh, it was uh, uh, a totally uh, different picture. Uh, different picture. It was really very hard. Hard days are behind, uh, and I must say that it was in those days was really very hard. As Mariam very right mentioned and outlined it was very hard to get the uh, positive news because at some uh, point in the very certain moments, the, uh, the full-scale aggression uh, was in force and attacking for all directions and they were occupying territories by territories and uh, uh, Russians. And uh, uh, it was really very hard to get the, the, the positive information, but uh, still, uh, it, it really worked. What I uh, found uh, every morning that it really worked because people were frustrated uh, because in uh, in some uh, international very popular prominent media outlets uh, uh, there were the the, the uh, um, uh, stressing stressing news coming out that this is uh, this. Kharkiv is bombed, and et cetera, et cetera, and Melitopol, Mariupol, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, I, uh, I, I realized that I realized that every positive detail about about the uh, uh, little little victories, about little victories in the fight against Russian occupiers uh, in the air, on the land, uh, uh, in the sea. Uh, it was really, uh, really working positively. And the auditorium uh, of this book, Daily News, was increasing on a daily basis. Of course, in, co uh, in cooperation, uh, and I must uh, underline here the uh, contribution of Teona and uh, others, uh, many others, who voluntarily, without any uh, exaggeration, who voluntarily took this uh, uh, position uh, to provide on a daily basis with the information, uh, which which was of course um, approved information based on the uh, checked information with the official channels, uh, uh, with the channels in Ukraine, with the channels uh, respectful channels in the international military expertise. What made me uh, more uh, uh, optimistic when I went to Kiev, it was the end of March, beginning of uh, April, when I met with uh, Ukrainian citizens, Kiev citizens, I, I went to Bucha, Irpin, uh, Gostomel, to Borodyanka, and, uh, and I met with the Georgian and Ukrainian uh, fighters. And, uh, I believed, of course, that Ukraine uh, will win. But uh, when I talked to, uh, to these people, to civilians and the militaries, I came back with uh, zero uh, doubt that Ukraine uh, is going to win. Still, there was not enough uh, 
equipment, military equipment, and still there is not enough military equipment, but there is a counteroffensive, successful counteroffensive ongoing. And uh, uh, this fight on the um, uh, media and social media uh, front is ongoing, is ongoing. We are all, I'm sure we are all enjoying where when we see uh, the screaming Russian propagandists, you know, that, uh, that uh, Salushnik is a great uh, military commander, that Ukrainians have a great army, that uh, Russia is fighting against the great uh, uh, military, Ukrainian military forces. And it's not an easy war. And it's, uh, it, they were forced to leave uh, Kharkiv uh, region, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So, uh, um, it is obvious, it is obvious, there, there should be no doubt that uh, Ukraine uh, will win. And Ukraine is fighting not for Ukrainians, not for Ukrainian territory, and not for Russian speaking Ukrainians who live in Ukraine on. They fight for Georgians, they fight for Germans, fight for French, as well as Americans for the entire civilized society and democratic community. So Russian propaganda uh, does as much as they can. They are, uh, you know, uh, shaking, shaking in these days, you know, they are talking, the blackmailing, uh, bullying the, the society with the possible use of the um, uh, nuclear, tactical nuclear bomb and uh, their Lavrov, uh, sp spoke at the UN General Assembly. Putin, in his address, spoke about it. They are blackmailing the society, the Western community, but the Western leaders were very were very clear that they will not buy this anymore. They will not fall in, and we will be witnessing the dramatic changes. But before that, before that, in our society, they have to have the realistic picture. I will tell you honestly, it is much easier now. Uh, it was much harder to get this positive, emotionally positive news uh, than it is uh, today. It is, uh, I uh, never invent this news and it never uh, uh, imagine this news. I do check all through the tens of channels at the Telegram channels, at Twitter, you know, I my own channels in Ukraine, and then are uh, listening to the, all these YouTube channels as well. I, I make it a summary and do in the morning because people in Georgia start uh, uh, to start to their day with the news in Ukraine. I must, uh, I want to tell you that, uh, as Teona very rightly mentioned, uh, it is very obvious. We cannot uh, 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 share the responsibility of Georgian government, Georgian green government. Georgia's society demonstrated in number of uh, rallies, thousands, ten thousands of people were out there, and uh, and Georgian government also demonstrated totally different. So I want you to know that uh, Georgian society is in this fight. We all do uh, as much as possible to uh, support our Ukrainian friends, our Ukrainian uh, uh, brothers and sisters. And uh, I'm sure that Razum Misivni, Razum Misivni, Razum Slava Ukraini. Slava. Olena, would you like to present our next speaker? Thank you. Uh, thank you. I would like to uh, present now uh, uh, our colleague, uh, journalist uh, Sofia Kogut. And uh, in these uh, turbulent uh, times when we are living in the uh, informational uh, environment, uh, in the disinformation environment, uh, I, I mean that um, journalist uh, materials and um, information, uh, tr tr truthful, uh, trust information for, uh, uh, for the society, for the viewer, is very important to um, not to react uh, on the propaganda because 
I remember uh, in the first uh, weeks uh, of this uh, war, uh, I think every Ukrainian uh, is a member of some uh, small uh, group in messengers, uh, some local regional group in messengers, and uh, especially in the um, uh, first weeks uh, of this war, we have we had a lot of um, disinformation, um, some messengers or message uh, or some uh, disinformation from so-called uh, very no knowledgeable uh, people and uh, it was very, uh, created uh, a very nervous uh, behavior uh, in the uh, Ukrainian society uh, including in Kyiv so uh, Sofia is uh, known uh, uh, not as a famous Ukrainian journalist but uh, she is also an author uh, um, an English channel um, counter propaganda Twitter uh, channel, and uh, now I would like uh, to uh, present this floor to Sophia, and uh, she will um, say your experience. Uh, hello, I'm very honorable to take part in today's discussion, and I'm uh, very happy to see. You. I respected colleagues both from Georgia and Ukraine. Yes, my name is Sofia Kohut. Uh, I am a news editor of Ukrainian TV channel Espresso. But here I am for my another project, uh, not only mine, but we are a team of nine students from National University of Kyiv Mohila Academy uh, who have created uh, a Twitter media called Ukraine Daily. Let me share a link with you. Uh, on our Twitter. Oh, sorry. No, that's one. <laughs> um, yeah, let me do it a little bit later. So uh, we created a Twitter media called Ukraine Daily. It's a source of information now for almost 8,000 of uh, foreign users in Twitter. We concentrate uh, on the audience from the United States and uh, uh, some countries of European Union. Uh, in um, March, we reached a total coverage of audience of uh, 2.5 million uh, users. What are we doing? Uh, we keep in foreigners updated on Ukraine situation daily, starting from uh, um, February 24th. Uh, why we are doing this? Uh, because um, when the full scale invasion um, came to our homes in Kyiv, where we all live, our team, uh, we decided to do something more than we've been usually doing because all of us, except we are students, we are journalists and uh, communication specialists, and we just started our careers, but we felt like uh, we can make a change too. So we created a source starting for our foreign friends but then it became a bigger project um, that now is uh, becoming more bigger and making uh, some updates of Ukraine for a thousands of foreigners. And we uh, try to keep going because all are we doing it's on a voluntary basis. Uh, and we think that uh, each Ukrainian that have um, a, um, source of information like ours can influence how the West uh, understand what's going on in Ukraine as well. Um, the topic of my, um, my conversation was how to keep foreigners informed about what is going on in Ukraine and how to keep their attention. Uh, we think that uh, among all cruelties Russia does in Ukraine, about the information about sharing we post every day and share with our users. Uh, we also have to tell successful stories about how we renovate our houses, how we keep going um, despite all the all the cruel changes which sir, we see in our lives today. Um, and uh, we want to tell that Ukraine uh, will not give up, will not give up, and um, will win, and we want to help our country. Uh, let me now share with you the link to our Twitter so you can see what we are exactly doing. 
here. Sorry for the wrong part I sent earlier. Yes, so as I said, I am a representative of a, a younger media Ukrainian community. But um, I want to say thank you for inviting me today and uh, for have a opportunity to become a part of such a discussion. I thank you, Georgia, for supporting Ukraine because together we will win and even this small community of students can make change. Thank you thank very you. much. Thank you very much. Your voice, our voice really matters. Uh, and uh, uh, let me now switch uh, uh, to Georgian participant and in Georgian language. Uh, Minda Karmovitinot Georgi Shwenieradze Romelitz Kakla Samokalako activisti, Snobili juristi, Romelitz Amjama Daris Tamput Nebeli, Arasam Taurobo organizatsis, Democracy Defenders, Democratis in Swelebi, Da Ridan Ukraine is home of the Tsisini Principe, she am Mimatulebit Mushaob, then Mudmi Batrusu propaganda stand. Zola is or thirty Rami Martulebitats Mushaobs Georgi. Magra, my Ukraine is Omis Tatsebis Tanave, Ikoabra Solidarobis Aksia, Atar Patara Activo Baby, Mudumi Vishakseneva, Imisi Rahteva, Dahma Reba, Shirat, Isero, Veram Vergebul of the Magra, my Mudmud Organization Shiro, Mihuidotik, Nahavdi, Rome. Ayes Mudrao Bebi was the stuck crinis Harda Sajeri. Da Ayef Chen Saubro Pit Crinel Collegate Tanet Tatats, Rogori, Kamavisian Beli, Aris Pilishi, Usuli, Sanomre Nishnit, Mankanebi, Quarizian, Friends Quarizian, Salian, Cartola, Shots, Tatal, Pata, Polo Active of Baromel, Georgis, Gundma. Moi pikra da, moi pikra zdaner da. Akhod si elbski devats. Ezaris rusul sa nomra nishne bze. Agraven stik elbs. Romel sats kuya mevit kuya rak rak kuya. Wakon dim si tuva saha. Ay armin do dai mistva magra. Slava Ukraini, slava nacida. Nere iti rasiska kiti nacida. Da amitom es dalian dalian mishne lovani. I koro i mudi pet vaksen em sai am am kola pers. Da Georgi mogu kevi da Irak tivo pepi kete ba ga kete ta kamde da 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 am jama trasa kete. Mogu sam lovit Maria mi sam lovit tomreps madluba še sad zeblo pet tisram kaj še mogu kete budi tam mišlo an koni ceba se. کارگرد گویسمیس ساکارتولوشی روم بهوری رام رام خودی و ساکارتولوش دامو که دبولیا ایمازه ترگورس ترپات مواجه خب سوکراینا روسیتی سگرسیس مگری بسته سابلو جامشی گامارچو بیسم پوی بس کارتولی خالقی میسی بودی دسی ناتیلی استوره دسی تیم دیستوالی چه خوربس اوکراینیل گمیر خالص راچه خب اکتی او بپس تخدیا امیس میخواد ویترگوری کو دینامیک ادا اموزیا سازگار دوی باشی گان خوب بولاد کاموی خت بودا سابدول مکمل دوی بیس تینا پریوچی باز گاه سوتروم جه که تبروازی تخم تبروز نرتدی پیروی اکتیا گای مرتا تاکت وس کانسلاری استان روملی صورت اوکراینی سپارد چهارس از خونه بوده دا کارتولی سازگاری دو بیست گرچید گومس کامو خرطا دا اوکراینیلی ایریسامی ماله وی رگوت کی ساب زول مکمه دو بیداید سو اوکراینی شد زیر تعداد که داور تهت همان تا اول پروژه تبزه سی خو رام دنیم است که تیلی ساده تخت بودا همان تا اول تیلیس شگرو با اوکراینی استیس ماتوریس استورتی پیروزی خو از سرشوال به بیرون بیاید سعی کنیم از این اطلاعاتی که از سرچی روی خو اوکراین لب است پیروزی دخمه رو بیشتر کسی هم دیدیم و سرشوال به بی ام توال ساز رسید گر کلی بخارد چرا خیلی ساز کرد و بیشتر من سهم بگی چینا پتیالی فایر بیش داوید فایر سر رو بیشتر خلاف تازه خیلی داد نواری گفته بود که گفت کوچکی است و اونکه تو لب نبشی مسخره و بیش سخت بدن کار بپشید آب بدید روما ایستی نیت بی روما لیت پیروزی خو پرپارات هم بی نوش خاک که تبلیغ کنده دچار نتوانی فایر بذاری کاموت سمولی یا سیکو سامدیتی نم 
Thank <laughs> Ahta, 
Interes o desat Rusetz agresia da ito saka tu lost ilamdek še gwe xene bina saka tu smo kala ke bistuis tu rispisi bdodmen čeni Mokala Kebi, Chen Jaris Katsebi, Orieta Schwitzels, the Machoris Imazet, Winaris Kerida, Win Mokare, Mito Ruset Shira de Kenebs, Sakatoshi, the Rusul propaganda, Shira de Kenebs, Amir Murzuneobis, Nesquatum Sakit, the Sadia Kitwa, Vinga Rusai, Sukat Kartuli, Iloris Ecclesia, Pazeci, Ariset Surat Segamot, Anneli Hat, Ghost Palsin. Sadia Kobe, Unagak Zeldes, Picrop, Mitoro Esgarko, Sazgob, Shep his Lebasuts of St. Hars, Uchers Mars, Hell Sutrop, San Pola Pers, um, Sazuga Dueba. Tava Daris Hadia Proda Saluri, Chen Sazgo de Vitina Tildaris, Ukraine is in Haris, Magram, Madamenebis, Gulebshi, Old Rurat, Steba H. We, Mitom Rom, Sahelsu propaganda, um, Mat Ganshebu, um, Squad Munmawas Tawasops, Omis Ganit Arabis, Machos, and Vinsakatoshi, Horta Tawasadun, Tameta Hobbiti, Mashiro, Nisinitski, Vins, Russo propagandas, uh, got out celebrated Sakatoshi, Sela Parako, and Amazet, because Ukraine is the Pushemat Kurebe, Arian, Sazgo Vishkar, Old Dapne. Ulubas, uh, it's of the stars, Sura Teviro Melitz, Gasu Quiras, uh, Tivista Madaich, Kakra, Pilici, Rusul Nobrian, Automobile Pse, Masse, Hai Marcia, Rigamusa, Pulimachoris, Head Out, the East Arteda, Romelis, Tilgran, Lissim, Redan, Arisahe Bulli, Nadia, Rusul Tismo Kala Cape Mound, I told the Rusin, very Canadian, welcome, uh, Transfer Anashmi to the Rusulin Nomrebit, um, Manam, Sanam, Ukraina, Ukraina, Shabda Suldeva. Ukraine is Gamar Jobita Manam, Sanam Sakartolos, the Ubatsi, and Mokteva, and his creed. And Amitom Sadia, Chum Picrop, Trom, as the active of the Bimomos, Kilo Prudence, Urnagarte, Simitor, Etia, Sodna, at Sadam and Epsau, Magam, as the active of the Bis, as got all the Uri. Helshet Oba, Mutsi, Shena Chunibasa, who stops Hells as a god of Bashu, Argastes, Ubralu and Bawis, as a Susati old Ura Takatebs, they swept clear of his Gakiba to Granil Hals old Ura to Tseps. Italian did him at Loba, train at a trade of a work never train, says it got a bolus and me viewer. Um, the discussi is not ilam de Gwek Neba, train it agile of his ceremonially. Uh, in it or a third monad illest telephonic which is the Bada, which is Abamisa to the Movastro, Ragasta, Amidon, Bolomon Senables, Tovera, Anna, Lugovayas. Um, present her the merit that you do about that. Thank you, thank you, Maripo. Uh, Anna, I really, uh, it's really nice to see you. Hello, uh, I know Anna, uh, she was uh, our student, she's alumni of uh, our master program, International Communication, International Journalism. And uh, I know uh, that uh, you moved from you lived uh, in the east uh, of Ukraine and then you moved to the region. and. Uh, after the beginning of this war, uh, you you saw you was the witness uh, of this awful thing that uh, Russian occupiers uh, did uh, in Kiev region, and uh, now uh, you are a civil activist. And uh, I know that uh, in Ukraine, uh, volunteer movement uh, it's a phenomenon. Uh, it, it's a phenomenon after the uh, 2014. And uh, Anna we will be glad if you share your experience. Uh, Sure. Thank you very much. I hope you can hear me. Yes. Okay. Thank you, dear organizers, dear honorary speakers, speakers and participants of the discussion. I'm really happy that I can be present here today, tonight, actually, and uh, speak a little bit. I know that we have lack of time, but still, I will try to limit my topic because the topic is on impartiality of media in uh, conflict sensitive um, zones and areas and it's really difficult to speak about it indeed i i used to live in uh, the east as was mentioned by madam olena i lived there i am not a um, person that is nationally from there i'm from kiev region but there i had to work and i was working with conflict sensitive groups of people in particular with families of missing and detainees who went missing during conflict in Donbass. And I continue working on this subject still. So not only I'm civic activist, I'm also a member of uh, International Committee of the Red Cross. And I 
help associations of families of missing and families of detainees to raise their voice and um, not give up on their fight. So I'm trying to be not public, but helping to be public to other people. Uh, for me, media is one of the empowering instruments that we can give to people. And that's what I'm trying to do now. And whenever I have, I am doing any advocacy or whenever I have some families that I need to help, I always tell them, please don't be silent and speak as much as you can. Because media is something that can help you. It can kill you, but it can also help you. Um, conflict sensitive media is uh, my own long term wound because um, as I said, I was working in a conflict area and I am working in the organization that is supposed to be neutral and impartial. So for me, it's really a wound because I have so many cases when media, even my native media, Ukrainian media would make so many mistakes that it could harm people, could harm my organization and could harm people that are already traumatized by the conflict. Uh, conflict, conflict sensitive media should never be mixed with just media, with simple media, because it's something different. And thus, we should never forget about functions of media, which is media is always a watchdog, media is politician, media is peace promoter, is a diplomat, is information provider, is goalkeeper, emotions detector, and bridge architect. And the currency that journalists can get when they are working on media during conflict is credibility. And if there is no credibility, it means the journalist should just stop working. Otherwise, it makes no sense. How we get credibility, we should be always accurate, reasonable, responsible, and impartial. And that's the topic I wanted to talk more about today, tonight. Journalists who is working in conflict sensitive on conflict sensitive topics should always report fairly, should understand conflict, should report on peace efforts, should report on causes on co of conflict, present human side and recognize the influence, the influence of media. Sometimes we can see that unfortunately media are working on the principle, if it bleeds, it leads. And that's harmful because Media should not only report on what happened, but it also should make people analyze. The function of media is not to provide a dish, is to provide ingredients of the dish. People who are reading the news, they should be able to analyze. And that's something that we lack. And that's the role of impartiality in this, because media should always be impartial. There are two categories, neutrality and impartiality, and there is really narrow line between them. And impartiality is something really valid and important. Um, when we talk about focuses of media and what stands behind the media, there are some simple things like media often focuses on certain specific facts and forgets to mention what stands behind. And as I know that I don't have much time, I will just say some simple brief examples of what happened recently to me. Uh, you know the conflict that stands be behind um, Azov style defenders. In this case, media made a horrible mistake that influenced and put me uh, in a huge danger because they were completely not impartial in this case. And they were speaking about things that could just increase aggression when media should have just explained better, not showing that there was some, some parts that uh, were taking more role and um, providing false information. In the case with other style defenders, unfortunately media started this topic that some, new, some neutral international organizations were promising something, which they never did. And what happened next? Media raised the anger and I was almost killed because some people thought that I was guilty of the terrific attack in Olenivka. This is one of the things that happened in media. And for me, it, and it was mentioned today also that we lack 
analytics. We lack many things in our media, and this is something that should be developed in Ukraine, in every country. What happens in Russia, I don't even want to talk about, because not only there is propaganda of horrible things, they have no analysis, and what they serve is a dish. So for us, it's a good lesson. Never serve a dish, serve ingredients. Thank you for this beautiful evening. <laughs> Thank you for a chance to have this discussion, participation, wishing us all bravery. Be brave like Ukraine. Slava Ukraini. Slava Nati. Uh, let me uh, ask you to stay here now. Uh, and uh, well, uh, I, will, I will just to say in a few words uh, what comes to my mind when when I think about Ukraine. Так я буду крис слезы смеяться перед лиха скрывать песни без нави так и сполит сподивать буду жити хек хек думи сумни это и для украинки и это как раз то что вот такие трудные времена такие трудные времена о oh, sorry I'm I'm speaking now in <laughs> oh this this okay so in 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 I am Italian Dime Dros Rom Chuen Bacherheb Dimas Rom Kondes is a positive moment. I am Ratsua, Rob, Els Ratma, the Udaru, Paralizable, but Araperi Arvaketo, Magram Train, Train Sakme, the Waketo, Geda Sidonia, my Ahali Collectia Shetna, Roma, Stavis, Trainieri, Ahali Programma Shetna, Puka de Lishna, Uamra with Ahal Sima Busiba, Geta, Olena. Is Dalia Mishnova near to all two, but in a she, it manati Gawas Lero. Is project in my Yamis initiative, is project in Gachta Solidar of his Carta Sajari, Merit Trent Alter, Lisa Moivitra, History Keeper is aesthetic conceptia, Dai Badawa de Padajudo Evaze, Mina Minda Piro Hijildo, Nitze, online in Scouts, I in Trans Dalia Mishnova. Uh, or uh, Adamians, uh, Mindaro, Roma, uh, Mindaro, uh, Nagajito, Trevi, uh, uh, History, History, uh, Italy, uh, I know the Adamia, so the word of Gero, I doubt so, but telephone, yeah, I wish us, uh, Bibli Judo Gada and Sema. Twenty history keeper. We assigned him as a history keeper. Roma Drivnois. Roma Sasek Neva. Now we see a set of Ini, Tupuri, Kiferis. That turned out to the one. How is that? I am a certificate. Immediately, how is that? Yes, I am going to go to the other side. Aramato Ukraine, Zaramet, Takatuelo Street, Penny Prophecy, Prophecy Street, Anatoly Yakov, Kadalpe, Gildo, Isar is Adami and Roman is today's Namdula Dari, Prime Story, Dam Swellita, Takatuelo's Story, Dam Swellit, Anatoly Amas Gamo Gizami, the Mero. Here, Shiro Chamolo, it Piradadats, Kulze, Lamas, Vishivanke, Birum Gax, Skunai Nairi, Eterte, Tava Magreb Kaya, James Kildos. Kildo Minda Gadavte, Olena Shevchenkos, Olena. Now you are the history keeper. Okay. 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 Okay.
ძალიან დედა უკვე გადაეცი ვენი ხაჩფარე ოლენა უჩენ პრეს ამაგი სამაგიური ეს ვენი मार्ता उक्राइनिया პირველი ადამიანი იყო რომელმაც ქიჩაში გააპროტესტა რუსული სიმღერა აა აი ესე გაჩერდა და აი ესე ატერთა იქ ფილი ატერთო მილიონობით ნახვად დაშიარება ჰქონდა და არამარტო თავის თავის ლოცვებში არამარტო თავის საქმე გაკეთებს აი ამ ჩვენი ნუ ჩვენი საერთო საქმის მხარდაჭერა जुर्नालिस्टिस्टे मिंदारो შენ ჩვენი პირველი ჯილდო ისტორიკ კიპერის იყო ორე შენ ამიტომ खरीदा <laughs> प्रोफेसिनल जर्नलिस्ट जालिया निश्विया किया इसे प्रोफेसिनल जर्नलिस्टी ता इस मासाबे बिरोमस आते हो ना तो मेरी दे कमनीज अरे जर्नलिस्टोरी प्रोडक्ट पता पता रा न्यूज़ से भी तो मिस उगा जालिया ने दी श्रम आते जालिया ने दी बात लोग शे निमिष मिस श्रम उक्राइनी सिस्टोरीज दम चली ძალიან დიდი მადლობა ყველას ჩვენ აი ახლა უზუნდებით ჩვენს ასევე ვთქვათ ბოლო შემაჯამებელ ნაწილს და მე მინდა რომ ჩვენ სტუმრებს ხოლო ესეთი ბოლო კომენტარები შემაჯამებელი მოსაზრებები ძალიან მოკლეთ რომ გამოთქვათ ვისაც სურვილი ამისი გაქვთ 
So uh, now we turn uh, to uh, our uh, conference. And uh, uh, I, I know that uh, we had some uh, participants uh, of our discussion, and uh, we would be glad to uh, hear your uh, remarks and uh, have your maybe some uh, ideas, uh, some proposals, some words about the, the solidarity journalism. And uh, I see that. Um, uh, uh, please let me say a couple of words uh, thank you so much for inviting and uh, uh, i do hope that we will continue to cooperate we will continue to share our experience and uh, uh, i advise uh, everybody to be in touch to keep in touch and uh, uh, to continue support each other in these difficult times. And uh, I'm sure that uh, the next year we will meet uh, um, for another conference uh, to celebrate our victory. Thank you. Thank you, Tatiana. Uh, I hope uh, we will see your uh, further research because your topic is very interesting. Uh, Jana is uh, expert in uh, propaganda. And I hope that uh, Russian propaganda will not be successful in any uh, country. Thank you. Uh, maybe uh, we should uh, give some uh, words to uh, our uh, discussion uh, participants. Uh, I see uh, I see Victoria Dubiv, I see Miroslava Tanska, uh, I see Alexandra Kavalenka. So uh, if you would like to, to, to uh, add something. Add some remarks so, some remarks about our discussion uh, if you want to add something could you raise your hand okay. oh. so if, if if not we can just um, summarize yes finish and uh we would kindly ask you to share with us with your presentation uh oh, alexandra. alexandra raised her uh, hand uh and uh, uh alexandra your Please, uh, for your final remarks, you can. Uh, yes, uh, hello, and I'm very glad to be here. Uh, so uh, I would like to add some remarks about uh, solidarity journalism. And uh, my topic that I'm interested in is uh, uh, how uh, the IT news uh, are covered in social media. So uh, I know that uh, the solidarity journalism, one of the most uh, important moments is solidarity uh, of the subject. Uh, so, and uh, what about the IT sphere? That's very, I think uh, today, nowadays is very important. And even in uh, Ukrainian nowadays, nowadays uh, Ukrainian sphere, uh, first of all, that uh, Ukrainian IT specialist and the IT sphere in Ukraine is one of the biggest uh, spheres that are uh, growing rapidly every year, even during the COVID pandemics, it was growing still. Uh, and now, uh, during the full scale invasion, uh, many uh, IT specialists. Uh, different uh, subjects, so it's developers and so on and so forth, uh, they become uh, a part of uh, not only the uh, soldiers in regular army, so uh, not only the volunteers who help uh, the soldiers or the civilian people, also uh, they become a part of cyber army. Uh, this actually is not regular army in Ukrainian uh, like uh, military here, it's the vo also the volunteering. But uh, what I can say that it's not the coverage with uh, charges, uh, so they are not uh, doing something for money. They are doing just to help the Ukraine, uh, Ukrainian people and soldiers. Uh, so uh, what they actually do, uh, so I can say that first of all, they are creating the web resources. 
uh, that uh, with information to help uh, refugees, uh, also the uh, soldiers, uh, it's information about uh, the Russian positions of uh, missiles of something like uh, techniques uh, 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 can be put on the temporary occupied ter territories. Also, they uh, create uh, uh, this uh, cyber army that actually works with um, different resources in Russia. So they uh, took uh, and made DDoS attacks on different resources. It's the governmental websites, it's some uh, TV uh, programs, so they can just uh, break into and begin to translate uh, the speeches of Zelensky or maybe some uh, photo screens from uh, Bucha, Hostomil, Irpin. And uh, I would really like to say thank you to Ukrainian uh, uh, journalists to journalists in the world who are helping and uh, creating the solidarity between everyone. And uh, I think that it's very a great thing that can show how uh, solidarity of journalism uh, is in every sphere, even in IT. Thank you very much. And this multidisciplinary approach is really, really very important. So uh, we hope to see you again uh, in Tbilisi, in Kiev, especially in Kiev. Uh, and thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us today and for sharing with us your positive spirit that really helps us to build our resilience and to fight. And thank you for that light and the kiss of life you give to the whole world. Slava Ukraini, Slava Ukraini, Slava Ukraini. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my final uh, words for this um, very interesting, I think uh, also very fruitful uh, conference. Uh, we exchange uh, our opinion, we exchange uh, our experience and uh, a special thanks to uh, Georgia, to Georgian population, uh, because I know that only uh, officially, uh, it's roughly 26,000 Ukrainians arrived to Georgia. Georgia is small uh, compared, for example, to uh, Poland or to Germany, when uh, in Poland, roughly one and a half million Ukrainians, in Germany, or roughly a million Ukrainians. But for Georgia, uh, to um, accept, uh, to, to uh, invite and to, to uh, have uh, officially, only officially 26,000 Ukrainians, it's a, a significant low. And a uh, special thanks to Maripo. Uh, she is a very good friend of mine and very good friend of Ukraine. And thank you. Thank you uh, very much. And uh, I wanted to say one more. Slava Ukraini, Tideva Sakartvelas. Slava Ukraini, Tideva Sakartvelas. Thank you.